Greetings, it's the 26th of September 2021 and we will return to the incredible La Palma eruption soon. But today we turn our focus to the global tropical cyclone situation because things have gotten a bit crazy with two major hurricane strength systems ongoing. The stronger of the two is Super Typhoon Mindule in the West Pacific. We'll get to that in a minute, but let's start with Major Hurricane Sam in the Atlantic. Here is the latest infrared imagery. It's currently nighttime over the Atlantic and the National Hurricane Center have assessed Sam's intensity at 125 knots, that's 145 miles an hour or 232 kilometers an hour. This makes Sam a category four hurricane or an eta class tropical cyclone on the cyclone scale. The NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft released drop zones that detected surface winds gusting to 162 knots in embedded meso vortices or tornado-like whirls in the eye wall. This means that on the cyclone scale, we could classify these as Eta-class mesocyclones within an Eta-class tropical cyclone. Let's jump in with the Hurricane Wharf. Sam's in a slightly dry environment, which is likely one of the reasons why it is still quite small, as we see here in the initial wind field, though the wind field has definitely grown in size since our last update two days ago. Sam has a few competing influences on its intensity in the forecast, but the short story is that the storm is forecast to remain a major hurricane for several days and is still expected to grow in size and throw out increasingly large waves. The Hurricane Wharf is quite keen on keeping the storm very strong. The only real potential land in the path of Sam is Bermuda, and Bermuda is up here where it says Hamilton. And if we go forward in the European Center model, we'll see the storm eventually getting up towards Bermuda in this simulation, but it's in towards the third of October in the European Center model, and that is a category three hurricane. However, the GFS model has the storm quite far off to the east and in a different position. It doesn't pass, it passes to the east of Bermuda, giving essentially no impact. So we'll definitely have to check back in on this one because the lace track looks a bit uncertain. Meanwhile, out in the West Pacific, oh my god, we have got an absolute monster typhoon in Mindule, which is currently categorized by JTWC as 140 knots sustained. That makes it a category five on the Saffir Simpson scale and theta class on the cyclone scale. Here is the Hurricane War forecast. As we go forward, it looks like Mindule does die down a little bit. It's moving very slowly towards the Northwest. As it comes down, the wind field broadens a bit of re-intensification there and towards the end you'll see that there are some islands that come in and pop into the path there they are over here and these are islands of the smaller islands of Japan to the south east of Tokyo if we bring in the joint typhoon warning center track into Google Earth we'll see those islands towards the end and we've got one directly in the current track and that is Aogashima which is over here and then over here we've got Hachijo. So there you have it, two massive powerful storms on the left, Super Typhoon Mindule, and on the right, Hurricane Sam. And I will wrap it up there, and we'll probably be doing some updates pretty soon. At the moment, I've been doing videos every day, so hopefully check you in the next one tomorrow.